My name is Sergio Alvarez, and I was born in Mexico City and moved to the U.S. 12 years ago. I started working for Starbucks in 2009 at the Pike Place Market. When I was in Seattle, my grandfather passed away. And it was really tough. I grew up listening to his stories of him working himself up through a grocery chain in Mexico without knowing how to read or write. He earned every single thing that he had. And I think Starbucks was one of those companies that I felt like if you put your heart in what you did and you did it with passion, that you could get far. I still got it. Yeah. So I was invited to Chiapas to see how Starbucks and Conservation International were fighting climate change. And I wanted to bring the story back to our partners. When I was very young, my family and I went to Chiapas. Coming back after all these years, I was able to see the real effect and impact of climate change. And it's happening all over the region. I could really see that the landscape is changing. I mean, farmers are just looking to make a living out of coffee. And when they don't have enough production on their farms, they'll just go higher up in the mountain, damaging the buffer zones and protect the forest. So it's very important that they plant new trees and then they manage the shade. Este aperturar más planta porque si no, al talar árbol es lo mismo que hace, afecta al cambio climático. Deforestation is one of the reasons why we see the trends of climate change and the variability in, in weather patterns uh, in coffee producing areas like this. There's something going on, and I think leaf rust was one of those. That was like the big flag. Most of the production was lost in a lot of countries, and the reason why this fungi was so aggressive was due to a drastic changes of weather in the region. Hola, Roya tiene cuatro años que pegó a los tres, ya no cosechamos nada. Fue una catástrofe total. So after talking to farmers in Sierra Moreno, and knowing that they used to produce about 50 bags per hectare, and now they're producing three, it was it was startling for me. ¿Cuánto solía producir antes de la roya? Eh, 80, entre 80 y 90 bultos. So we're at the nursery of Caltenango with about two to three million rust resistant plants that will go to producers all around the area. It started 20 years ago in Chiapas, in between Starbucks and Conservation International, and together we launched their first coffee origin called Shade Grown in Chiapas. And today, 99% of the coffee that Starbucks buys around the world is verified with these practices that are called cafe practices. Me dan este asesoría técnica en el cuestión del café, cómo lo debo de trabajar y cómo lo debo de sembrar y cómo lo debo de conservar la, el café. De eso vivimos, sí, sí. el café. Ahora sí como campesinos, pues este nuestro patrimonio es es en la parcela de café, es el café más que nada. When you see the logo of Conservation International in a bag of Starbucks, I think it truly means we realize that we need to take our work in coffee producing countries all over the world very seriously. Every cup of coffee we serve is doing good, but that alone isn't enough. Each and every one of us need to do our part to reduce the effects of climate change. It's the love of people, nature, and coffee that can make the real difference. <laughs> <laughs>